Hi there, curious minds! I'm Dmitry Chebakov, EPOM DSP product leader. Programmatic advertising has been in heavy rotation for the last 10 years, but there is still confusion around the algorithm behind the technology. In this video, I'll explain how the advent of RTB has made the life of publishers and advertisers easier, how RTB works, and cover up all FAQs related to RTB. Real-time bidding is buying and selling of an ad impression in real-time without any human intermediaries in an instant auction. The whole process takes less than 100 milliseconds, just the time it takes to web page to load. It all works pretty simply. For example, let's take the moment where you are opening your favorite news site in the morning. The website sends a request to the supply site platform, informing there is an opportunity to show the ad. SSP analyzes the information about the user and then passes it to Ad Exchange. When the Ad Exchange gets the information, it passes it to the demand side platforms, revealing extensive information about the user. The advertisers make their bid, and in a split second, the highest bidder is chosen. Their advertisement is then served to you. Publishers and advertisers can both set parameters for RTB, such as minimum prices and maximum bids as well as prioritize specific deals and inventory. Is the RTB the only way to get traffic programmatically? RTB is the major but not the only way to buy traffic programmatically. The other programmatic buying method is called PNP. It works similarly to RTB and involves the real-time auction based on the money advertisers are willing to pay, and the highest bids gets the impression. This marketplace usually offers exclusive traffic to well-known websites and you need to be invited to participate. Fixed Price Programmatic, where fixed price inventory can be bought after prior negotiation with publishers through an API, without real-time bidding. Preferred Deal enables advertisers to place their programmatic ads in the desired inventory, with a fixed price without bidding for it in the open market. RTB vs header bidding difference. Just like real-time bidding brought improvements to programmatic buying, Header bidding was an improvement to RTB. In a simple way, header bidding is an advanced programmatic technique that works with a JavaScript code that is placed in the header part of the page. The publisher places a line of JavaScript in the website header. When a page on the site is loaded, the code reaches out to the connected supply site platforms for bids before the ad server is called. Bidding is essentially simultaneous instead of sequential and focuses on all available impressions. If header bidding is not implemented by the publisher, the programmatic platform will use an older ad tag model to sell inventory. So, an RTB protocol can be based on both ad tags, header bidding, or even an SDK software development kit, depending on the situation. Header bidding auctions in programmatic can be first price and second price. A second price auction is the initial model of RTB process where the highest bidder doesn't pay the price equivalent to the bid, but point $0.01 higher than the bid of the second bidder. A first price header bidding auction is more beneficial for publishers as the highest bidder pays exactly the price equivalent to their bid. Benefits of using RTB and programmatic for brands and ad networks. With real-time bidding, media buyers can access a huge range of inventory across a wide range of sites and cherry-pick only the most relevant impressions without overpaying for them. But there are even more advantages to every part of advertising ecosystem. First, efficiency. Buying ads automatically is more effective as the human factor is eliminated. You focus on making the creative, the machine does the boring programmatic media buying operation. Second, advanced reporting. Programmatic platforms provide detailed stats on every dollar spent. You can customize it to your most important KPIs and access any data in real time. Performance optimization. Many DSP offer automatic optimization in which you can set up your goals and let the platform manage your campaigns without any involvement. Inventory quality. If you choose a DSP that is connected to credible SSP and provides quality traffic sources, the risk of overpaying for traffic is close to zero. Programmatic advertising allows you to scale ad campaigns quickly and allocate greater budgets in the best performing inventory after analyzing each traffic source. Next, price optimization. First of all, 
you pay the price you can afford in an open auction. Later, you can manage your programmatic ad campaigns, cutting off traffic sources that aren't driving ROI and focusing on the ones that do. That's all for today. I'd be glad to answer all RTD-related questions in comments. You'll find more information on RTD in the description of this video. And don't forget to check out related videos. Bye!